guys, today I'm here with another fall appropriate makeup look. It's a matte red lip with really nice wispy lashes. Pretty clean on the eyeshadow but still really flare and nice with the lashes. It's really glamorous actually. But at the end of the video I'm going to show you a few other um, lip color options. Something that looks a little bit more wearable for fall time and something that's a little bit darker like a burgundy lip that's really appropriate for like a nighttime fall looks. I don't know, I really like how the red lip looks like. I think it's really classic and sexy and elegant. And if you want to see how I created this look, then just keep on watching. So I'm going to be starting by priming my lid with the Lorac Behind the Scenes um, primer, eyeshadow primer. And I'm going to use my finger and just apply that all over my lid. Like so. Then the first color I'm going to use is by MAC and it's called Brulee, which is a really light matte kind of a bone shade. And um, the, um, my Sigma, what was that? And my Sigma E55 eye shading brush. And I'm going to apply this all over the lid and that's going to be my base color. So I want the eye to look like the eye base, the eyeshadows to look pretty natural. So that's what I'm going to do because the focus is going to be on the lips. So the lip and the lashes, well, you know. Then I'm going to take um, Sigma's E25 blending brush and my Sigma Smokescreen palette and Thunderhead, which is this light kind of a topish brown shade. And I'm going to apply that to my crease really lightly, going back and forth. And then I'm going to connect it kind of with my nose counter and then flick it outwards on this outer edge and that's going to create kind of a cat eye effect it's going to elongate the eye so really gently and lightly I'm just going to apply that in that kind of motion then focus on this outer edge a little bit like so then I'm also going to take the same color a little bit under my lower lash line and connect it on this outer edge. And to darken the crease a little bit more, I'm going to take more of a precise blending brush. This is E45 by Sigma. And the MAC Brun eyeshadow, which is a really dark, um, cool tone brown kind of. And I'm going to take it only on this outer edge and kind of focus it on this outer corner and sweep it outwards as well just to deepen, deepen? <laughs> deepen the outer corner a little bit and just make up words, don't I? then when that's done I'm going to highlight under my eyebrow with the MAC 252 flat brush and my Low Rock Pro palette I'm going to take this matte white shade right here and apply that under my eyebrow and then a little bit under here under this outer edge just to sharpen it a little bit and clean this outer edge a little bit then I'm going to take an eye pencil this is the NARS um, Night Series Eyeliner in Night Porter which is a really dark Kind of, it's a black with green glitter, but the glitter is not that noticeable. I'm going to apply that a little bit on this outer corner, only on the outer corner, like this. And the reason I'm using this liner and not just a black liner is because it's so smooth. I'm taking my 219 pencil brush by MAC and start just smudging this line. And it's so smooth and smudges really easily, but you want to be really quick with this because once it sets, it sets and it's not going anywhere so I'm just smudging the line being really messy if you find it easier you can kinda pull the outer corner of your eye and just continue smudging it a little bit inwards and mostly outwards and that's just going to intensify the outer corner of the eye
but in a really soft way so it's not like a winged liner it's a really soft smoked out outer edge then I'm going to take the same pencil and tight line only on the outer half of the eye right here and really motion it into the upper lashes to make the base of the lashes look a lot thicker so now I'm just curling my lashes and I'm going to be applying a little bit of mascara and I'm using my Benefit Roller Lash Mascara and I'm applying the mascara only to my top lashes I'm not going to apply any mascara on the bottom ones I really like how this look looks like as is, like this, but I really wanted to add some drama so I'm going to use um, some falsies. These are the 120 Demi um, lashes by Ardell, so I'm going to apply that and I'm going to be right back. So the eyes are done, now for my cheeks I'm going to use the Makeup Forever blush powder in number 5 which you can use on your uh, cheeks and on the eyes as well as an eyeshadow and look at that pretty bright peachy coral color isn't that gorgeous i rarely use it but because i mean look at this but it's gorgeous i absolutely love it i'm going to use my sigma f15 blush brush for this and apply just a little bit on the apples of my cheeks and it's so pigmented you can see that but you can always blend that with like a kabuki brush after that if you apply too much or just be aware that it's pigmented and pick up a little bit on the brush so that's that so for my lips I'm going to be using the NARS matte velvet um, velvet matte lip pencil in Cruella which looks like this it's a red color I like it because it gives you the option to be precise without lining the lips first with like a lip liner and so this is how it looks like with a red lip on I think red lip is so classic and so pretty and so the eyes are pretty light but then the lashes look really like flare lashes and then that's what makes this look re look really classic elegant and sexy in my opinion but you can totally wear it with a different lip if you want to i wouldn't pair it with like a nude lip like for fall but you totally can do that for an everyday look you can pair it with like a plum color this is twig by mac paired with the dervish lip pencil and that looks really nice as well it's not too nude but not too dark if you're intimidated a little bit by wearing a red color maybe so um, this would be your probably the best option now if you want to go bolder darker more daring burgundy or wine deep berry colors are perfect for fall this is diva by mac paired with the vino lip pencil by mac oh and by the way if you're wondering about this um, thing on my shoulder it's a burn from my curling iron uh, yeah and so this is the final look you can pair it with any color of a lip really but I really like the red one let me know which one you prefer in the comments below don't forget to subscribe for a new video every Saturday if you haven't already and please give this, this video a thumbs up I never ask this in videos but it would really help and I would really appreciate it I love you guys and I'm going to talk to you all next Saturday bye